Want to know what's hot? Ryan Seacrest's insane career. That's what's hot. Hi guys, it's Chloe with Talent Recap, and today we're breaking down where Ryan got his start and how he found his immense success in the entertainment industry. Even the greats have to get their start somewhere. Ryan Seacrest may be the highest paid reality TV host, but he started from the bottom just like everyone else. Ryan Seacrest then and now. No one can deny that Ryan Seacrest is one of the most hardworking hosts in the TV industry, and his paycheck proves it. How many jobs do you have now? You know I'm obsessed with this. Uh, Let's go through. Okay, so we've got Live with Kelly and Ryan. Right. Right? Okay. We've got the job at E. We've uh -huh. got the, in LA. In LA. Kiss FM, uh -huh. four hours a day after Kelly and I <laughs> talk. Uh, then there's the American Top 40 countdown. Uh huh. I think that's all. And the New Year's Eve ball drop. Oh, you forgot American Idol. And American and Idol. And American Idol. Yeah, exactly. Ryan Seacrest is worth a whopping $450 million today. But how did he get his start? Of course, he's best known for hosting American Idol, but there is so much more that went into his highly lucrative career. Ryan's early days. Ryan is originally from outside Atlanta, Georgia, and was always a fan of the radio. It was his dream from early childhood to become a radio DJ, which he has accomplished, plus so much more. Some of his early influences include DJs Casey Kasem and Rick Dees. Ryan first got his start sharing his voice to the world by reading off his high school morning announcements, which might have come as a surprise because Ryan wasn't exactly Mr. Popular. The celeb has poked fun at his dorky teenage self and shared images of his major glow up. Clearly he had a knack for radio though because he landed an internship at a top Atlanta-based radio station while he was still in high school. He stayed with the station while he studied journalism at the University of Georgia. Ryan decided to get a jump start on his career and left school to go to Hollywood. There he got his start hosting a few smaller TV shows like Radical Outdoor Challenge on ESPN and the syndicated kids show Click in the 90s. It's time to play Click! And now here is the master of the mouth, Ryan Seacrest! Oh, wow! Yeah. I am just uh... Just impressed that I just did that without falling, actually, so I'm pretty excited. We've got tons of cash to give away. Along with hosting TV shows, he even landed another radio gig, Ryan Seacrest for the Ride Home, that became one of the most listened to segments. That eventually led to his radio show, Top 40 with Ryan Seacrest, that became a nationally recognized syndicated radio show. American Idol. In 2002, Ryan's career really took off by hosting the incredibly popular American Idol. The show started off with two hosts, Ryan Seacrest and Brian Dunkelman, but Dunkelman left after the first season. To our next city, in search of the very, where are you going? Next American Idol, Ryan. Flora. Ryan clearly didn't need anyone else sharing the stage and became one of the most iconic parts of the series. His charming personality and radio perfect speaking voice made him the perfect host for the singing competition show. Ryan has been a mainstay in the American Idol franchise. He's the only person who has remained throughout the show's history. It'd be hard to imagine the show without him, and apparently Idol execs agree because he signed a $45 million deal to keep hosting, which made him the top earning presenter at the time. Kelly Clarkson. Apparently, he now makes $10 million per season for the American Idol reboot. Ryan's TV projects. Ryan wanted to take charge of his career and not just be an on-screen talent. So he made the financially wise decision to get involved in the production side of all of his projects as well. It was a move suggested to him by his mentor, Dick Clark. By 2004, during the early days of Idol, mind you, it was reported that Seacrest was making $10 million a year. That salary alone is mind-blowing. In 2005, he landed another dream gig. Dick Clark asked Ryan to join him in hosting his annual New Year's Eve special, Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, which Ryan took over after Clark's death in 2012. Ryan Seacrest also became one of the lead anchors for E! News and remained there until 2011. He hosted numerous red carpets and became just as, if not more famous, than some of the people he interviewed. He signed a $20 million contract that permitted him to host and produce series on the network. He also earned multiple Emmy nominations and even a win, which he took home while hosting the Emmys award show. Ultimately, his contract with E! led to his involvement in the widely successful reality series, I think you've heard of it, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The first few seasons were produced under his company, Ryan Seacrest Productions. 
All of these gigs kept the bills paid for Seacrest, and he ultimately became one of the richest celebrities in Hollywood. Not only did he rake in the big bucks with his hosting, producing, and radio gigs, but also in sponsorships and brand deals like his one with Crest. Plus, Ryan also launched a men's clothing and skincare brand. He partnered with Macy's to drop Ryan Seacrest Distinction in 2014. His flawless complexion is apparently thanks to his skincare line, Polished. Ryan paved the way for sharp-dressed men everywhere, proving that it's cool to take care of yourself and to embrace your feminine side. In 2017, Ryan started a new TV gig, daytime talk shows. He and Kelly Ripa host Live with Kelly and Ryan. I've done the show with Kelly a few times. Yes. The whole top of the show is talking about your life and like what's going on in your life, but you don't actually have a life of any kind. <laughs> All of these jobs have kept Seacrest extremely busy, but he still manages to have a personal life. He's currently dating 23-year-old model Aubrey Page. This new relationship comes after his split with longtime girlfriend Shayna Taylor. They broke up in 2020. Do you consider Ryan Seacrest one of Hollywood's finest? Let us know in the comments below. Does Ryan Seacrest deserve that insane paycheck? His net worth is an incredible $450 million, making him one of the highest paid celebrities in Hollywood. Personally, I think he's certainly worked hard for it. But who's your favorite talk show host? Is there anyone who's done it quite like Ryan? Thank you guys so much for watching. And while we have you here on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. And follow Talent Recap on all social platforms so that you never miss out on the news from the incredible shows and what's new with your favorite celebs. If you want to follow me, you can find me at Chloe Wilt ATX. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. And now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.